Any defeat today against Totem Targets, all went wrong? Um, I think a number of things went wrong. I think we were um, we were struggling from the off with the, the absence of Elliot and Kieran Orange, um, and they're two real key players for us. Uh, the two players that have been essential to us this season. Um, Kieran, especially, is top scorer, and um, he's that that one player that every team has who's got that little bit more experience and a bit more composure on the ball. And we missed that maturity today. Um, other than that, I think the lads were tired. We've not played for two or three weeks, um, and I think the guys have probably got out of the routine. Um, and we just took a long time to settle today. Um, yeah, I, th I think I think a number of things went wrong. Keepers, um, two errors from the goalkeepers today, but that happens. And of course, when you're a goalkeeper, um, those those mistakes count for more than when you're an outfield player. Yeah. Uh, so you got Shearwood next week in the cup. Would there be any changes for it? There will be changes. Um, we've kind of started again today with that kind of back um, three with the two wing backs. And now that's worked for us earlier in the season. The last two games it hasn't when we switched to 4 4 2 in the second half, which is obviously what we did today. Um, we've looked like a better side. We've created more opportunities and we've created more threats. Um, and of course, we've got the goal back in the second half. Um, so yeah, well, I think we'll play 4 4 2 next week. Um, hopefully, Kieran will be back. Uh, and of course, he'll go into the starting line up, um, up front. Um, who partners him, we'll see. Um, but again, an encouraging performance. Good to see Billy Platts back um, to something like his best today. Um, Tyler again put a good performance in, and I could see young Ryan Bradley, um, probably the best performance we've had out of him this season. But you know, Tottenham are a fantastic side today. They played some great football. They've got a, a very, very talented pair of strikers, um, and we just couldn't cope with that today. They, um, they were the better side, and they deserved the three points. Thank you, Ben. <laughs>
the truth be known, I don't think a 4-1 scoreline would have been um, would have been an unfair reflection. Um, I thought we'd thoroughly probably deserve 4-1, but just switched off slightly towards the end. Tommy, you uh, you face Marine this coming weekend. Um, any changes expected? Any players back? Any players yeah, out? Yeah, there's going to be changes. We've got Grant Brimley out, suspended. We've got Dean Gent out, suspended. Gary Rick Ricketts out, suspended. So there will be uh, Wayne Duke definitely coming back in. Maybe David Bofo coming back in. As you know, down well we plays Gary Ricketts this Saturday. Uh, but it will test the squad. We've got a good squad. And it'll give them lads who hasn't been in, been in at the moment a goal with opportunity. Tommy, it was on the back um, page of a local newspaper last week. Um, a, a departing treasurer questioning Dave Gamble's leadership skills at the club. How's Dave been to work with this season? Dave's been fantastic. I mean, that was a load of ball that was in the dispatch uh, regarding comments made about him. As far as I'm concerned, he's been a fantastic chairman. He's supported us. And it's my job to support the chairman 100%. And uh, we do at this club. And, you know, long may it continue because we've got to have a close relationship. And if people don't want to have a close relationship with the chairman, as far as I'm concerned, they don't belong here. <laughs>